Close to the capital, yet away from the bustle, West Iceland is a place where culture, nature and history complement each other, creating a wonderful experience. The glacier Snæfellsjökull is meant to be one of Earth's seven energy centers, and that's where the journey to the center of the Earth starts, according to the famous novel written by Schulver. Experience Iceland in an eco-friendly way and connect with people, nature and culture at the border of the Arctic with Go West. The travel company is situated at Arnarstabi on the Snæfellsnes Peninsula, and there, the friendly couple Jón Jóel and Maki will meet you and greet you and take you on an adventurous journey. We offer uh, hikes in the area here and we have also um, bicycle tours. You can, for example, go for a glacier walk and stop in the singing cave. everything about the history of the glacier and the protector Bárður Snæfellsás. Bárður Snæfellsás, he gave the glacier the name Snjófell, Snæfell, Snæfellsjökull, Snow Mountain. Ever since 1948, locals and especially Icelandic artists have embraced Búðir at the Snæfellsnes Peninsula. The restaurant here is open all year round. All the fish comes from the sea, straight out from the area. The lamb roams in the mountains. We buy everything we can from the local farmers and everything is worked here inside this house. The Nobel Prize winner Haldur Laxness stayed there when he wrote the masterpiece Under a Glacier. There is no wonder that artists seek inspiration there, because at Búðir you're likely to witness the Northern Lights dancing over the glacier. The Northern Lights are very visible here. We have a night watchman who will wake you up in the middle of the night if they come up. So there is no room exactly the same. Every room has its own character, its own color and its own style a little bit. So it is a very rustic, old way of thinking in a new house. The Búðir Boutique Hotel is one of the most romantic gems in Iceland, well known by the locals for friendly and cultural atmosphere and fantastic food. Snæfellsjökull glacier tours will take you on an adventurous journey all the way to the top of the famous glacier Snæfellsjökull. The top can be reached riding in a snow cut where you can enjoy the view along the way. And the view from the top is spectacular a unique experience that will definitely be remembered as one of the highlights of your travel in Iceland. The musician and former publisher Steinar Berg has opened a charming guest house and restaurant at Fossatún, where the guests can listen to rock and roll music and learn to know everything about the trolls in the area. It is located in the center of West Iceland, so it's easy to travel from if you want to cover the west of Iceland, and from here it's only 60 kilometers to Thingvellir and it is also located by the river Grimsá. Rock and troll, that is the kind of theme we are developing here in Fossatún. The uh, fact that we are located by troll waterfalls and the troll book writing that I'm involved in now. My background is in music and music business and also that we have a little band here that plays irregularly. I have my personal vinyl collection in the dinner uh, area. It's just over 3,000 vinyls. And when people dine here, they can select themselves a record to play with a dinner. And uh, people do that, they like, you know, some old favorites or listening to some of the new Icelandic bands who are releasing their music on vinyl. If you want to meet some of the famous actors from the popular TV show Game of Thrones, you should pay a visit to Hauafell. Into the Glacier offers various tours to Iceland's most significant new attraction, the man-made ice cave. The ice tunnels and the caves are located high on Europe's second largest glacier, Langjökull. 
You will get an amazing opportunity to explore the glacier and see it from the inside. This is once in a lifetime experience where you will be taken to the hidden beautiful ice. Daily departures are from Reykjavik and Husafell. One of the most important historical sites in Iceland is Reykholt, which was once the home of Snorri Sturluson. We have an exhibition about the life of Snorri Sturluson, who was a, the expert of law, a poet and a historian who lived here in Reykholt in the 12th century. He is best known uh, from being the author of the Edda. Yeah, there's about the northern mythology, and uh, then he wrote the Hymskringla, which is a biography of the kings of Norway and covers the Viking history from uh, around year 500 and until the 12th century. Covers the story of uh, Scotland, Irish kings, uh, Northern European, European kings, and even to Russia. You can buy a copy of a historical ring excavated in Reykholt at the souvenir shop and visit Snorris Pool, a medieval monument next to the museum. A church in Reykholt replaced the heathen temple around the year 1000 making the place a cultural and political center of the district in medieval Iceland. We have many concerts in the church. We also have a big uh, classical concert festival every summer on the last weekend of July. Well, it's a beautiful church with great acoustic. Icelandair Hotel Hamar is ideally located in the west of Iceland, surrounded by natural beauty and fascinating attractions. Akranes is a port town around 20 kilometers north of Reykjavik. One of the most picturesque lighthouses in the world is situated in Akranes. Several concerts have been hosted at the lighthouse, which has amazing acoustics. The Akranes Folk Museum was the first one to open at the Akranes Museum Center. The museum preserves a collection of exhibits from former times bearing witness to farming, housekeeping and social conditions in the area as well as featuring to some extent the history of sport in Iceland and one of the most comprehensive stone collections of Icelandic rocks, minerals and interesting fossils. <laughs> Langisandur Beach is a big attraction in Akranes. It's where the local football team practices and the visitors can go there for both sunbathing and swimming in the sea. A 45 minutes drive from Reykjavik and 80 minutes drive from Keflavik Airport is the friendly Hotel Glimmer placed in Kvalfjörður, or the Fjord of Wales. At Hotel Glimmer you'll receive a warm welcome and sense the warmth of the spectacular view from all the rooms and apartments that are available. Borgarnes lies in the middle of West Iceland and is only about an hour's drive from Reykjavik. First mentioned in Egil Saga, the town is proud of its heritage and historical sites. There's an excellent swimming pool in the area and a unique playground called Bjössarolo. A visit to the settlement center in Borgarnes is essential if you want to taste gourmet food and get to know the sagas of the area. The settlement center is a cultural center and it consists of two exhibitions, one about the settlement of Iceland and the other about Egil Saga and a restaurant and a gift shop. The settlement exhibition is a very good uh, foundation and a start for everybody who's traveling in Iceland because there you get like the sort of the first chapter, the first, you know, and after you've seen the exhibition, people tell me that they find it much easier to understand everything else they hear about the Icelandic sagas and the Icelandic culture. And it's an ideal starting point for people who are going to... All the area in the West Iceland is uh, full of sagas. And so that is the reason that now we call West Iceland, West Iceland Sagaland, because most of the biggest Icelandic sagas they take place in this area. And Snorri Sturluson, he lived here, the the, the most famous uh, medieval writer. And according to Lonely Planet, the settlement center is a must visit. Yes, we are really happy when we read that.
It's a must see and our restaurant is a top notch restaurant. Visiting Borgarnes Museum is like taking a course in Iceland's history. Two exhibitions are on at the moment, a birds exhibit with an old collection of birds most beautifully arranged, and the exhibition Children Throughout a Century, a photographic travel through Iceland's history focusing on children. Photographs from all over Iceland show us how life has changed in the last 100 years. At the exhibition, guests find themselves close to the people of Iceland during a great era of changes. Behind some of the pictures, you'll find hidden treasures within the walls. Genuine artifacts that once belonged to the people in the area. Close to Borgarnes is the guesthouse Enskuhusin. Staying at our guesthouse is all about being our guests. It's all about coming into this old house, this old place that has been managed by my family throughout all these years. And it's about eating good food from our lovely chef. It's about the tranquility. It's about the old books in the shelves. It's about the uh, pictures on the wall. It's about the old furniture. It's about the fire in the stove. It's about coming, well, in a sense, back to 1884 <laughs> and relaxing in that atmosphere, in that era for a while. We also have a sheep farm just on the other side of the river. We are producing from our own kitchen our very own leg of lamb or what you have it. We are serving vegetables that we grow ourselves. We are using potatoes from our garden. And obviously we bring the meat from back home and, and serve it here. During the winter time, then we are here in pitch black. And that means that uh, on a starry night with the northern lights, the aurora gazing over us, then we have wonderful conditions to see them. And to take a stroll down to the river, stand on the banks of the river, listen to the ice crackle perhaps, and see the northern lights dancing over your head, there's nothing like it. The beautiful town Stikisholmur has become one of the most popular destinations in Iceland in recent years. The inhabitants are very proud of their environment and history, and the centre of Stikisholmur has now become a living museum of historical houses. A part of the local heritage museum, the Norwegian house is situated in the heart of the town. Taking a tour of the house is both fun and informative. In the museum you find a reconstruction of a 19th century home, crafts and souvenir shop and an exhibition space. Sea Tours offers a variety of day tours and activities in Iceland. There are a lot of islands here on, on the Fjord Breiðafjörður. Actually, there are around 3,000 islands on this little area and 3,000 on Dura Caves. So we, have a, we actually get close to the islands and, and see bird life in extreme close up. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we, we, these are guided tours, so we are actually telling people what they're seeing while they're seeing it. Most of the islands are, are actually made of basalt, so there are special rock formations that we are seeing here. And our highlight is actually when we put out the bottom scrape and get some scallop fresh from the ocean floor and uh, taste it with a sip of white wine. Mm -hmm. Library of Water is a long-term project conceived by the artist Roni Horn. Here you can experience the interplay between water, words and weather reports. Among the attractions of the museum are 24 glass pillars filled with water from the main glaciers in Iceland. The Volcano Museum in Stikisholmur has a unique exhibition of international art and objects related to volcanic eruptions and their impact. The Snæfellsnes Peninsula is uh, very unique in Iceland because it is on this peninsula that we have all of the types of geologic formations that exist anywhere in Iceland. At Bjarnarhöp Museum you'll get to know everything about the fishing and production of shark meat and you can taste the famous delicacy. Bjarnarhöp Shark Museum is a family museum and in the museum we explain the process of the shark meat, uh, how we process the meat today and how my family has been processing and fishing the Greenland shark for over 400 years. This has been in process for over six months. First, it's uh, six, nine weeks in fermentation, and then three, four months here in the drying house. And people can come here and touch yeah, the yeah. shark? Yeah, and in the old days, the skin of the Greenland shark was, was used for sandpaper. 
It's very good. It's very special flavor, unique flavor. It's maybe similar to some cheeses, but uh, it tastes much better than it smells. Well, the meat is it's never cooked. Uh, nothing is added to it. It's a 100% natural process. Grundarfjörður is centrally located on the north coast of the Snæfellsnes Peninsula and lies deep in a beautiful fjord of the same name. It's surrounded by a magnificent mountain range with the beautiful Mount Kirkjufell, the most photographed mountain in Iceland, standing out as a majestic landmark. Lauki Tors operates a traditional oak vessel for an adventure of a lifetime. On sea you'll spot puffins and possibly whales during the summertime, and you can also try some ocean fishing, and during the winter time you can catch the glimp of orcas, white-tailed eagles and seals. All fishing equipment and refreshments are included. At Lauki Cafe you can have refreshments before or after your tour. The Freezer is an award-winning hostel, cultural center, international artist residency and the world's biggest professional theater per capita placed in the small village Rif at the Snæfellsnes Peninsula. The freezer is conveniently placed on the doorstep of Snæfellsjökull Glacier National Park. This one-of-a-kind hostel is always open and its goal is to offer guests of West Iceland high-quality cultural events and entertainment throughout the year. During the summertime, the freezer runs a packed schedule of events, which include theater performances based on local sagas and heritage, live music events, stand-up comedy, and big concerts by great Icelandic bands and musicians. Pay what you like and enjoy the performances at the freezer. The freezer recently won the Eyrarós Prize, which celebrates Icelandic art projects born outside of Reykjavík. Þurranes is centrally located between Búðardalur, Reykólar and Tólmavík. Þurranes offers guests a choice between made-up beds, sleeping bag accommodation and summer cottages suitable for groups up to 40 people. You can also pay a visit to the local farm Erpstadir, where you can taste and buy local products and get to know the way of life in Dalir. We have got about 15,000 visitors for the past two summers. They come mainly to taste our products, which we make here uh, directly from the farm, milk products, such as ice cream cheese and the traditional Icelandic skier. And uh, also to bring the children into the farming and we show them the farmer's life, how the milk is produced, uh, how they can feed the calves and the cows. And we also produce the skir confect, which is a very delicious piece of skir covered with chocolate, white chocolate. And it has the shape of a uh, cow pet. And it's really good. And the ice cream, that's a very unique ice cream. Yes, it's uh, basically uh, from milk and cream. And we got uh, many, many flavors. And our most popular is the blueberry ice cream, which we make with wild uh, main blueberries, picked by hand of some volunteers on the Westfjord. If you're interested in magical nature, history or the Icelandic sagas, West Iceland is the place for you.